you just signed this big contract, thousands and thousands of people would look at you and say, he's on the top of the world. He's got everything. Uh, I'd love to have this guy's life. Tell me why you have any time for this thing called faith. Well, I, I basically built my life around it. Um, from the very beginning, I remember when my wife and I uh, decided to get married, you know, just taking the steps of tithing, of devotional, like Foles was saying, um, like praying together. Um, so setting the foundation at an early age, um, whenever, a couple months ago, whenever I signed a big deal, it's nothing out of the ordinary for us to go back to what we've been doing since day one. And so I think that was huge, you know, colossal for us to be able to be the same, be consistent, um, and, and keep our faith at the center, not just of our marriage, of our kids' relationships, but also of our finances and, and the football as well. You're, you're part of a play in football that will be talked about for generations. Mm -hmm. um, and the season ends in this high glory, and before long, your days are done in Philly, and you're on the way to Chicago. Talk about your faith in those moments. Mm -hmm. What difference does this life of faith make? I mean, it's often for people, you know, their religion is out here, and life is here, yeah. and they sort of don't mix. So what's the difference that your faith makes when you have to go through these huge life upheavals? Yeah, it was, it's pretty cool because, like, we were kind of groomed for this in a, in a smaller way when I first chose to come to Philadelphia because I was an undrafted free agent. Um, no team really wanted to draft me, so I kind of got to choose um, in a sense of where I wanted to play. And I just remember, like, we didn't even, my wife and I didn't even look at the rosters of the teams that we could have played for um, to start my NFL career. We just got down and we got away from my family and we prayed um, and spent some quiet time with the Lord, and we really felt the most peace um, going to Philadelphia, and that's kind of how it's been my whole life. Like, uh, there's been there's been a lot of times um, in my life where I didn't know what direction to go to. A lot of my life was kind of trial and error just because of my up upbringing. And so, uh, really, the way we knew to go to Chicago was we just had peace. You know, we didn't hear like a, a voice or, you know, nothing supernatural, but we just had peace going there. And so we knew um, that that was the direction that God wanted us to go. Um, after a lot of prayer, had other people, you know, who were spiritual um, impacts in our, in our life praying for us. And um, like I said, we just had peace.